everybody. Welcome to another Banshee vlog. Uh, the first one I'm going to try and do in English. Uh, uh, the fourth one altogether. So, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Antonius Mosh, and I want to start off with thanking Otago, or whatever that's pronounced. Brand spanking new intro. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Very cool. So, uh, for this uh, bench of vlog, uh, since it's in English, I want to do some uh, uh, shirts from bands uh, from abroad. And I, I just picked the, the first couple of shirts I could find from non Dutch bands. And we're going to start off with uh, the latest editions, the, the newest stuff I have. Let's dive in. Uh, this one is from a Dutch band called Skrutbalg Udrente, which is a Dutch province, and they uh, sing in dialect. It's a brand new band. Uh, you gotta love them. It's kind of rock and roll stuff. Uh, it reminds me of uh, Viagra Boys, so I think that's a compliment. Uh, lo loving that uh, stuff, and I actually, I uh, the guy sent it to me. So, so I guess this is a sponsored message. Uh, thanks, I appreciate it. I also uh, got the tape and uh, and some stickers and a really cool uh, shirt. Uh, Michiel Walraven, he uh, drew it up, and it's awesome. It's got a hunebed. Uh, so, what's not to like? Trento. Second latest edition is uh, it's not actually a band shirt. It's a, it's a back patch. It's a All Pigs Must Die back patch. And uh, I love the band. I love All Pigs Must Die. Uh, it's with the drummer from Converge. Uh, awesome drummer. And uh, the singer from Hopcon, which is one of my favorite bands of all time, period. Uh, so, uh, oh, All Pigs Must Die back patch. Latest edition. This, by the way, is the Skrutbalg demo tape. It's on Spotify as well. Check it out. My friend Josse, also playing in Hammerheim. Uh, he gave me this shirt. He, he said, oh, you like it more than I do. Uh, which is true, I, I love uh, Denko Jones. Again, <laughs> it's got it's, this is a, a becoming a, a returning a returning thing in these vlogs. It's a rip-off shirt uh, from Danzig. Drink for today is a Oban 14. Still not sponsored. I wouldn't mind Oban. I wouldn't mind at all. This shirt is uh, the last shirt I uh, actually bought at a, at a concert, which is uh, uh, again almost uh, uh, one and a half years ago. And uh, we were playing in uh, Winterswijk with uh, my band Hammer I uh, staying in conflict, and the show was organized by the guys from uh, Rise Above. Check them out, uh, who are from the area. And um, and uh, so we arrived at the, at the venue and uh, uh, we, we ran into some people who were really upset. And, uh, and at that point we heard uh, that the drummer from Rise Above passed away that day. So he, he, uh, he, was, he set up, he actually set up his own drum kit for the, for the night and then went home and passed away. Uh, so it was, um, the, the show continued, we played uh, from the hard plate with, uh, as well. And um, uh, and it was like a strange, strange evening because it was nice to play. Uh, and, um, uh, and, and make something meaningful uh, of the night, but uh, it was also, yeah, we, we could really uh, feel the hurt uh, from the guys from Rise Above. And um, so uh, it's, a, it's a special evening uh, for me. 
one of the other bands we played was uh, Stay in Conflict from Germany. Uh, so I think I think uh, we did uh, the drum and ride uh, with a with a with a nice evening. Uh, Rise Above is uh, is uh, doing uh, really well at the moment, um, and uh, wish them all the best. Prost. And this is the back of the Stay in Conflict shirt. Um, and I like the I like the back not not uh, because uh, straight edge or, or veganism uh, is not important or, or whatever, but it's uh, straight hardcore is um, uh, for me it's it's the bottom line. It's um, I'm I'm still all about unity. Uh, I don't care uh, what, what niche uh, of loud music you're into. Uh, it's it's about uh, being punk. Uh, uh, being open-minded, uh, making up your own mind about things, um, uh, being critical, uh, and, and resist if you have to. So that's that's important to me, and and that's why I, I like uh, the shirt so much. And I picked it up, and again, it was a special evening. It's a small bridge as well. Uh, to the to the next shirt because I picked uh, this shirt up uh, when uh, Hans Way was playing in Germany. Uh, we went there with a couple of friends. They were awesome, uh, really killing it. Uh, I I like the artwork on uh, on this shirt. It's got a big ass uh, Death Wish logo on the back, um, and. Uh, uh, well, they, they uh, blew me away live. Uh, uh, honestly, I, I don't listen to, uh, to them too much, uh, Harm's Way. Uh, uh, I, I, did, I did buy the, the record with the, with the shirt, but um, live they were uh, uh, awesome. Um, one big piece of energy coming off stage and uh, with the singer is about square. Is like just as... Uh, as wide as, as he is long, uh, don't want to mess with him. Uh, and uh, but I, I love the energy coming off stage, arms way. So this is the back of the shirt. Uh, you gotta love it. Uh, Death Wish, amazing label. And that's, uh, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, uh, it's, good. it's, it's, it's a silver print. Well, I guess I was, um, must have been uh, early 20s or something, uh, maybe even when I was 18, 19, um, that um, uh, Stretch on Strong, uh, I saw him first, first time I saw him was at the Gautfus Hall in Arnhem, uh, which uh, holds... Uh, a place in my heart for uh, being one of the nicest uh, venues we ever had in Holland. Uh, it was amazing. So here's to everybody who put up shows there. The Refle Reflections Records, uh, Johan and Susan did a lot of uh, amazing work there. And uh, uh, we went there uh, a lot, like uh, every, every weekend or whatever, uh, uh, seeing shows in Ireland. And Stretch Armstrong was... Uh, uh, at that point, um, it was really important to me. Uh, uh, the message uh, really hit home uh, for me, and uh, it was just the, the, the right music at the right time, I suppose. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad I uh, still have the shirts. It's uh, it's uh, one of those uh, champion champion shirts. You gotta love them. Uh, and uh, it's sweaty, sweaty as well. Uh, I, I don't think it's much of a sports shirt, but uh, I, I love it. Uh, stretch arms strong. Um, and and uh, I, I think uh, I like the, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm guessing a little bit, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I think it's a Christian band. Um, and 
that's that's not what it meant with the message at all. Uh, but uh, they were really positive and um, and, and and focused and uh, all about unity, and um, so I uh, I like that a lot. And uh, I I didn't care if uh, if they are Christian or not Christian. Um, and and uh, well, I think I uh, elaborated a little bit about that uh, earlier. It's about making your up your own mind and making your own choices. Groove uh, is a dead metal band uh, we play with old school dead metal. Uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of D beat in there as well, if you ask me. Um, play with them in Groningen, and uh, awesome band, awesome guys, really nice. Um, uh, they hit, they hit it, uh, they hit it hard on stage. Uh, so I, I think Kruth is, uh, is the correct uh, pronunciation for it, uh, and it means cross uh, for, well, I, I guess everybody <laughs> knew already. Um, so that's it. And here, <laughs> on the back of this shirt, uh, the answer uh, to uh, the question I uh, was raising before, around and about millennium. Crude. Distance, our friends from uh, Czech Republic. Prost, Nastravi, Nastravi. And friends from uh, our friend Leo uh, put up a really nice show uh, for us. And uh, uh, when they, uh, of course, well, uh, we had them uh, come over to Holland as well. So uh, uh, slept in my uh, house, didn't, didn't mess up the place. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time. Thinking about that time, uh, Distance was playing in the in uh, Zwolle here in the Netherlands. Uh, it was with uh, Don Fuss uh, of uh, Spot Monsters, uh, and it was with his uh, band, uh, which was called Fuss at the time. And Don uh, still has that uh, stage presence and energy, uh, so he's a he's an example to me for uh, uh, being. Uh, loyal as hell, being committed, uh, having uh, goals in mind, uh, pursuing those uh, goals, uh, uh, still uh, sleeping on floors if if you need to. Um, so uh, don't if don't I don't think you're watching, but if you're watching, uh, see you next time, brother. So international shirts, of course, uh, Queen. Uh, you love you gotta love the artwork. Uh, uh, they had the races, I think. Who cares? Uh, but I got it second hand. Uh, so it's probably one of those shirts. Shit. I think maybe. Maybe it's from H&M or whatever. I stand by my words. I got it second hand, so then it's okay, right? You gotta have a black flag shirt. Uh, I think this is artwork by uh, Petty Bon, who did a lot of artwork for uh, Black Flag, of course. Uh, it's it's not a knockoff, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's an it's an SST uh, shirt. And I got it uh, through a friend uh, from an independent outlet in Amsterdam. Uh, and I've got it uh, for a long time. Uh, I like it. It's 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 kind of cool how the the finger is uh, is a bit strange. <laughs> it, it anatomically it doesn't really add up. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, why not black flag? I just finished reading uh, 
get in the van uh, some time ago, uh, and uh, and I, I'd never read it before, uh, and I, I love the book. <laughs> I've I read The Dirt by Motley Crue right after it, which was a funny <laughs> funny in comparison, uh, but. Uh, uh, it, it, it's it's a it's it's a, a really nice insight to uh, Henry Rowling's uh, thoughts and feelings at the time, uh, and also uh, to have a glimpse uh, in how touring in the U.S. was uh, back then, um, and it makes uh, touring right now look like uh, a picnic in the park next door. So uh, you gotta respect bands. Uh, that did it the hard way. Shared from our friends, a vague view, Belgium. Uh, we're supposed to play in Zwolle. Uh, I think uh, like one year ago. Uh, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep my word on uh, that one. And uh, as soon as it's possible, we're going to have you over. Big view, uh, and there was some really nice uh, artwork uh, on the back as well. There's no year after when you're six feet underground. And last year, I'm going to talk about in this uh, episode uh, of the Benji vlog number four, first one in English. Uh, let me know what you think. How's my English? Was it so so? Next one in Dutch again. Let me know. Uh, Grand Collapse. Uh, and I think the band was from England. And uh, if my memory serves me right, it was like uh, power violence, short, fast, and loud uh, kind of stuff. Uh, maybe a little. No, grind uh, mixed in as well and and, um, and some D beat maybe my memory served me right uh, but I was truly impressed uh, and I got the shirts with the shirt with which is a a, a lino uh, somebody made and then they made uh, uh, screen prints out of them um, so it's a it's a work of art if you ask me uh, really well done, and I like the color as well. That's it for this uh, Benchip vlog. Again, let me know what you think. Too bad Oban wasn't really sponsoring uh, this episode. I'm gonna have a sip again. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>